Locals are helping the National Audubon Society this holiday season by counting birds. Jillian Fortner got to see some of the different species of birds in Sun River at the yearly event. Jeff and I would, uh, we've been married 38 years, so we've been bird watching together. We're always watching birds, but not always inten you know, intensely. This is a more intense thing because we're counting them. We have to confirm the species. Volunteers gathered at Sun River Resort and Sun River Nature Center for the annual Christmas bird count, a nationwide tradition dating back over 100 years. Christmas bird count um, has been actually happening since Christmas Day 1900. Hard to believe. Data collected from the Citizen Science Activity event helps monitor population trends and guides conservation efforts. Bird watchers work in groups to find and identify a variety of birds within a 15 diameter circle. Yeah. The binoculars and then we have a spotting scope. Debbie bought a spotting scope that's handed down from her mom. So another couple tools we use is there's a Sibley guide. This is like the early archaic app before they had made apps. This was, um, this was one of the best guides. They also can use the app Merlin, which can help identify birds through photos or audio recordings. A really good opportunity for me to be out in my wheelchair and study um, natural history and contribute to citizen science. You know, this Christmas count at the at Sun River is really accessible, so I, I encourage people to do it next year. If you missed out on Wednesday's event, don't worry. The century-old tradition will return next year. Jillian Fortner, News Channel 21.